Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of the Ratliff Mandolin's Weekly Production Diary Series. And as you can see here, I have a table full of things to share with you. We are getting ready to build in this upcoming batch two different styles of mandocello. And to do that, we had to have molds and all the stuff that goes with it to be able to actually produce these instruments. We're going to make a copy of a 1924 lore signed K5 Gibson Mandicello. It's a Mandicello, but it's shaped like a guitar. And interestingly enough, um, we'll address this issue later, but this one gets a cutaway. And the next Mandicello is going to be a 19 copy of a 1921 Gibson K4, a K5 and a K4. Now, we had to build not only the molds, but the spreader bars, which hold the sides in place after they're bent while we glue on the top and basically assemble the instrument. And the next thing that we have to have before we can finish these instruments is a way to put the binding on. And we have made two differently shaped binding jigs that bolt on a concrete base uh, and have nails driven in the side to wrap the string on. The instrument will go here and then we will cut the binding channel, put the binding on, and we will use string as a clamp to do that with. So we spent some time and effort this week building these things. Let me run some video for you and we'll be right back. I know this stuff can be pretty confusing at times as to what all I'm doing when there's nothing but just the video to go by, but I am building the binding jig for the K5 Mandicello. I've already glued up three plywood boards and sawn them to the shape of the instrument itself. And now I am uh, drilling out the holes for the nails, as you can see, that we are going to use to be the uh, string wrapper points. And so we've drilled a series of evenly spaced holes and I'm just going to hammer nails down in there. And uh, then after it's all mounted, we'll have something to string all that string to and wrap around each one of those nails. And that'll become apparent uh, once you see the thing in operation anyway. So that's the one for the K5 guitar shaped mandocello. Here I'm drilling the mounting holes so that it will be able to be put onto that big concrete base that was made out of the ductwork, the metal ductwork. Thing. So that's what I'm doing right there. Here's a shot where we're just test fitting everything, and indeed it does test fit. And the washers go in the holes, and the taps go in, and everything is going to work just perfectly, and we can move on to the next little steps. Here we have a shot of the glue up of the, uh, of the same thing, the same binding fixture that we're going to make for the K4, the mandolin shaped mandocello. We're just penciling it out and then we're going to saw on the outside of that line so that that binding jig is only slightly larger than the finished instrument will be. Should be a shot coming up here in just a second of, there we go, of me sawing it out just on the outside of the pencil line, as you can see. And when we're done, we have something that is shaped exactly like the K4, only just a little bigger. Again, it goes through all of the measuring and hole drilling process and we're going to nail nails in all the way around it. That clip of me with all those sparks flying is me out of an old bed frame 
cutting these little strips of metal. I have since cleaned them up, drilled holes in them, and we are going to screw these things into the side of this mandicello binding jig in the appropriate places, and the uh, they hang over the edge on both this side and that side, and the purpose is when we have the full size instrument, we are going to have something that's going to keep this instrument from sliding around, basically. It'll hit these stops and it won't be wanting to slide around as you're wrapping the binding on. And I have cut the strips for this and the K5, which is the guitar shaped body style. So we're going to attach all these things right now. And so now here we are at the end of the week, and as you can see, we're pretty much done and ready to actually start working on the instruments proper. We have both different style mandocello molds made, plus the spreader bars, plus each of the uh, binding jigs. And let me stop and talk about this one that's shaped like a guitar, and I'll explain this added ring right here. If we're going to bind an instrument, I bend the sides, put the top on, and bind the top. Therefore, I have a flat back. It just sits here as a shell and gets done. But when we put the neck on and then the back, we have, let's just take this guitar for example, an arched top which will not sit on this flat surface very well. So I have a ring that's basically shaped like this, fits down in here. Now the only thing I haven't really done is I will pad this ring with leather strips. It fits down in here almost perfectly, this guitar does, on this mandocello mold and then that belly hangs down in that empty hole here and we still have basically the thing is steady and level and all like that which is going to be wonderful that this guitar actually fits into the mandocello binding jig because if you'll recall from a couple of episodes ago uh, we have decided to put a piece of wooden binding on which by the way I bent this sign, this binding on our new bender and now we have a place to put the guitar down, hold it steady while we wrap the binding on and clamp it on with the string. That we've got to look forward to next week. Thank you so very much for watching and uh, check back with us next week, see a little bit of progress on this guitar and on the mandocellos proper. Again, my name is Audie. We do this each and every week. Check back with us next week for the next exciting episode of the Ratliff Mandolin's weekly production diary series. We'll see you then. Bye.